Go daddy, go daddy, go daddy, go daddy. I might be moving to daddy, but guess what? I have to find out. I need to know the dairy lingo. What does that mean? Don't get your knickers twist. <laughs> <laughs> dairy is beautiful. Just look at that, look at that corner there. Wow. If you look down there, this is called the dairy corner. A lot of famous people do be coming out here to take pictures and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of history to dairy. Now, everywhere you go to in dairy, there's literally cannons, cannons everywhere. That's why I can literally say some stuff I want to say. I need to explain this right now. What does this mean in dairy? I, I, I have a wild dose of horn for you. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> no, I want to know this lingo. What does that mean? So what is, horny. I'm horny. <laughs> who is Pat Ramsey and who is he? I want to find out who this guy is. So I'm going to go around. What's your name? What's your name, by the way? Lauren. I love the way you guys talk. So cute. <laughs> now, Lauren, do, do us a favor. This one's very clever. Now, who is this guy? Um, Pat yeah, who's Pat Ramsey? I don't know. You don't know Pat Ramsey? Oh, my God. Sorry, excuse me. Who's who's uh, who's Pat Ramsey? Oh, if he lost something in dairy, he contact Pat Ramsey. No way. Yes. So he finds everything. He finds mostly everything. Oh, we need him in Dublin, by the way. You guys, if you've never watched Dairy Girls, you need to check out Dairy Girls. Trust me, it's one of the best program in on TV. Netflix. Listen, what does this mean? Fur coats, no knickers. It means you're running about with a fur coat on, but even no knickers underneath. So you think you are something? <laughs> um, Fur coat, no knickers. What does that mean? It means you're dressed fancy and you've no drawers underneath. You're a tart. No way! Where are they? Where are they? Don't need I'm to not from Derry! <laughs> you need to the lingo off I'm here. Not from Derry! Where, where are you from? Brunk Cannon. Where is Brunk Cannon? Oh, down the south. Oh, near me. Okay. These are the two biggest shopping centers in Derry. The Richmond and the Falls side. So right now, this is the walkway with two biggest shopping centers. I'm in the middle, literally, of two biggest centers. What, what, what does this mean? Whole, whole handling. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, so what does that mean? Whole handling. Oh my God. I don't know. I'm so broken hearted. You guys don't know. Sorry, excuse me. Do you know what, do you know what it means? Whole handling. What do you say? I don't know. It's like. Whole handling. What does that mean? It means like it's a whole lot of effort. Whole lot of effort? Uh, whole That's what it means. Uh, like whole lot of effort. It's like there's a lot. I don't know. Like, there's there's a lot. Really oh, is that, is that what it means? There's a lot to do. Oh, oh really? It's like there's a whole, like, whole handling. Oh, that's there. It's going to take me like a long time to do. And what does this mean? <laughs> Take, take, take your oil. Oh, shit one. Shit one. Uh, ah, I one. love you. She's my new friend. Ah. <laughs> don't get your knickers in a twist. Don't lose your head. Don't lose your head. <laughs> don't, mean, don't get your knickers in a twist. What does that mean? Don't, don't get any confusion. Like, don't be, don't be getting don't be annoyed. Worried, don't, be, don't, don't be getting annoyed. Don't, don't be getting annoyed. Don't be annoyed. Don't be annoyed. Don't be annoyed. Don't be annoyed. Is that what it means? Uh, so, so if someone's getting mad, I'm like, don't get your knickers in a twist. It means calm down. Uh, uh, oh, no way. What does this mean? Don't get your knickers in a twist. Don't get too bothered about it. Really? Don't get too do, do, do bothered about it, no. What does this mean? Oh, slip, oh, slippy tits. <laughs> I need to know what, no, I need to find out what that means. You're oh, slippy tits. You're a slippy tits. I'm the mayor. You're a slay man. Oh, you're the mayor. Okay, what does, what does, what does that mean? Oh, slippy tits. A crafty old girl. Oh, crafty old girl, yeah. The size of that cannon base. Look at the size of that cannon. <laughs> Woo. I look this is called the Peace Bridge. This bridge symbolizes the handshake on both sides. What a beautiful bridge. I now I know. What does that mean? I now I know. I think it means like... Yeah, but no. Yeah. I, don't know. I know. It's a confusing thing though. I now I know. Is yeah. really good? So say it. Okay, use it, use it as a sentence. Let me know. Um, Like somebody asks you something and you're like, I, yeah, no. no oh, yeah. basically I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> um, is it called Derry or London Derry? Dura. D what? Dura. What? Dera? Dera. Dera. You Dera. Are, Dera. So it's called Dera. Dera. Okay, so what does this mean? Red now. What does the red now mean? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Put it in a sentence. Let me see. Say, say he's embarrassed. Someone in front of like, either someone they fancy or something. He's yeah. Like, you've already taken a fucking red, aren't you? Oh, no way. So basically, you're blushing, basically. Yeah. Oh, my. That's so cool. What does this mean? Pure lord for you. What does that mean? Happy for you. Happy for you. Oh, my God. Pure lord for you. Happy for you. Oh, oh this dog is okay. What's the dog's he's name? Happy for you. Happy for you. <laughs> the dog is pure lord for me. <laughs> what does it mean? Pure lord for you. I'm really excited for you. I'm really happy for you. Are you actually? Are you actually? Oh, pure lord for you as well. What's your name anyway? Ronan. Ronan, I'm literally pure lord for you. I can tell you're going right now. You're having a red now. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, what does this mean? The tide wouldn't take you out. Or some girl wouldn't. It's a girl. It's a girl. An ugly looking fella. An ugly looking fella. <laughs> They wouldn't check it out. I, I love Derry. Woo! Very clever, baby. The best there is in Shopping Island, boys. Woo! 
I like the candy for you. Because you hold the key to my heart. You hold the key to my heart. Lovely dog. <laughs> you're tested positive for being a PRI. Oh, that means a ride. You're right. Oh, you're tested positive for being I'm a PRI. Okay. You're a PRI. I'm bringing it to Africa with me now. Come on, let's go. Listen, so what does this mean, right? You are a bird. You're a bird. Is that what it is? Like, uh, so, so there. You know you're a man if you got the white socks on? Oh, that's it. And what, what if you have the, um, the this kind of socks on? Just black patty. <laughs> what does this mean? Yama is your dad. It just means your major dad. Really? <laughs> That's what it means. It That's what it means. It means your major dad. Yeah. Really just means your major dad. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Don't overthink these. Don't overthink this. I love you already. D D G I. Did you? Oh, did you? Did you? I. What does what does what does that mean? Did you? Yes. Did you? So I means yes. It also means I don't believe you. Yeah. Wait. It means okay. I means yes, and it means I don't believe you. Derry, you guys are confusing me here. Don't, don't. We don't believe you. <laughs> DJI, wow, this what's is actually. Going? Whoa. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? What's, what's going on? What's the story, bro? Yeah. What's the crack, bro? Yeah. Come here. What's a, what's a very good dairy lingo? Opera. Smell your mouth. Yeah, man. Nice drop. Never mind that. You know what, Derry? I love you, bro. I can't understand your bleeding lingo. I'm going back to Dublin, I am. Your lingo is bleeding hurt. Come here, bro. Do you understand the dairy lingo? It's really hurt. I'm going back to Dublin, I am. Jesus Christ.